Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to turn Fast Startup on or off in Windows 10. Basically, once it's enabled, you end up with a file on your drive called hyperfile.sys, which allows your computer to boot up faster. If you're having problems with it, it's on by default. You may be able to solve some problems by disabling it, at least temporarily. There's three ways to do it. Let's take you through it. Easiest way is in Settings. You can actually go to Start, Settings, System, Power, and Sleep, or find your search. I'm going to run it over here. And just start typing in power. And if you haven't typed it in a while, it'll be down here farther. But worst case, just keep typing power and sleep settings till you see it. And click on it. Scroll on down. And let's go to additional power settings right here. Click on choose what the power buttons do. And you're looking on turn for turn on fast startup. As you can see, everything is grayed out. So go ahead and click on change settings that are currently unavailable. And now you can turn it on or off at will. And if you're wondering why my virtual machine is sitting in the background, I will show you right now. The VM works differently. So let's do the same thing here. Go to power and sleep settings. Additional power settings. As you can see, I don't have it. So what you want to type in using the command prompt, and in this case, it's important to note that Hibernate needs to be supported. On most computers nowadays, it is. But I just want to show you a potential error message. We're going to open PowerShell as admin, and we're going to type in this right here. Power CFG space dash H space on. And if you have any problems, you want to follow any of these links, check the video description, or look for the I up here in the video. All right, let's do PowerShell, just so you see it. And in this case, it's not supported, so that's going to be the error message you will see. If it's supported, you'll see nothing. It'll be a this line right here with the flashing cursor. That's it. It means it works. So as long as you don't see the error message, you need to make sure hibernation is on. That brings me to batch files or registry files. Once again, you can click this link here. And as you can see here, Hibernate has to be enabled. So what you're going to get is two different files. Let me show you those. There's your registry file, disable, enable, batch file, on, off. So you're wondering which is which. It's pretty easy. The batch files actually have that power config command you just saw me type in built in. So when you run that, it'll run that for you. If you don't want to play in PowerShell, then add the registry files. If you know your Hibernate's enabled, you can just run the registry files. It makes a change for you. Done. Piece of cake. That's it. One of the two. All right. Group policy editor. Once again, this is why I'm running dual windows. I have Windows 10 home here. So if you try to run gpedit.msc, It does not work in Windows 10 Home, but if you follow this link here, you can get it for Windows 10 Home and enable it. All right, let me do it where it works. Windows key plus R. And again, it's gpedit.msc. Press Enter or click OK. And let me bring this up so we can watch it. And we're going to go to Computer Configuration. Everything you see right here. Right there. Move it over so you can see. Administrative Templates, Expand System, click on Shutdown. It's only one setting here, Require Use of Fast Startup. Not configured is the default, and again, they would warn you that Hibernate has to be enabled, so you have to know that. So to require the use of Fast Startup, you can enable it, that turns it on, or to disable Use of Fast Startup, click Disabled. And again, if you're not sure or you're done later, change your mind. Just click on Not Configured, click on OK, and you're all set. That's it. Little, little tricky, not too tough. Most of you should be able to do it right here in the settings. That's just the easiest way. So there you have it. There's three different ways you can turn Fast Startup on or off in Windows 10. As always, you can click Subscribe in the bottom right corner if you like, and click Like if we helped you out. We appreciate you watching. As always, see ya.